Stampers, this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations. I want to welcome everyone. We are going to be creating a really cute little card. This looks like a fold we've done before, but it's actually not. It folds a little bit differently, but it's still going to be fun. Um, I think you're really going to like it. I'm a little less than prepared, big surprise. And so we're going to uh, measure it out, and I'll tell you the measurements as I measure them with my ruler. Luckily, this is such an easy card that it's not going to take us too long. So this layer's three and a half by five and a quarter. This one's one and a half by five and a quarter. I bet that's one. Yep. And then the middle one, we know that. That's going to be the four inch by five and a quarter. And then overall, this card base is 11 by five and a half and this is going to be scored at one and three quarter five and a half and then nine and three quarters now i did have my notes on this don't ask me where they are i couldn't find them <laughs> so <laughs> those are our measurements and again i'll repeat them as we cut our new ones and this was a birthday card that i did um, but we're actually going to be working with some christmas paper I went ahead and I grabbed some mint macaron and then we're going to do this at five and a half and then I wanted the belly band so I'm going to take our leftover piece and we're going to make our belly band out of that. I'm going to go at one and a quarter and then we needed to score. And I prefer to score on my Simply Scored tool. We can do this on the paper trimmer, but it's actually, I think, more accurate when I do it here. Maybe it's just me, but I like the fact that this actually has grooves, and so there's no way for me to be just a little bit off. Because we all know when the camera's running, if I can be off, I will. <laughs> One and three quarter five and a half and nine and three quarter and then all we need to do is burnish our score lines so that's our basic card base so it was five and a half by eleven we scored at one and three quarter five and a half nine and three quarter and then I brought in this paper this is our Whimsy and Wonder paper. And I thought we'd do this one. This actually, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a foil to it. And so when you tilt it, it gives that really pretty rainbowy fit. Ooh, I didn't move you to my desk. Why didn't somebody tell me? There we go. <laughs> This paper has this really pretty, like, rainbow holographic feel to it, which is gorgeous. And then on the other side, it's just a, a matte color, but I like the foil side. <laughs> it is a Monday. Why do I do this on a Monday? I ask myself that all the time. I think I'm out of my mind. Okay, so on this one, I used three, five different papers. And we don't necessarily need to, but let's go ahead and pull some. All of our layers are going to be five and a quarter, so that's easy. We'll just go ahead and start there. And then let's see how we want to line them up. This one is going to be three and a half. It's going to go right there. And that middle one is one and a half. Front one is one inch. We'll do the three and a half, one and a half. So there's all of our inside layers. I have the belly band. That's my one and a quarter inch piece. So I'm going to need a one inch to go across the middle to go to decorate it on the inside. Here's all our little pieces. Oh, and I need an inside. I have a drawer full over here of all my insides because they're all the same size. I have this great paper cutter that's going to cut through an entire stack of basic white all in one foul swoop. 
So we have that for the middle. I'm going to make this one a Christmas card. So I'm going to bring in a Snowflake Wishes. And we're working in um, the colors off of our designer series paper. There's some polished pink, misty moonlight, mossy meadow. I think that's Blushing Bride. So I'm just going to pick some colors out of there um, for our stamping. And there's not going to be much of it because it's just going to be on our belly band and on the inside. So here's our stamps for that, and we need a snowflake. As we know, I always line them up on my grid paper, and then I line up my block on the grid paper. Hopefully that keeps me straight. Flubbed a little. That's why paper has two sides, and why we always stamp before we adhere it into our card. There is something on there. Oh, I see. It's got a little teeny piece of paper on there. Try this again. No idea where that paper came from. There, much better. And because this is a red ink, I'm going to push them right on over to my, my stampin' scrub over there so that it's getting that off. I'm going to bring in my mini. This is our mini cut and emboss machine. This does anything up to three inches. One of the tricks to this is you have to kind of stagger the plates a little. I find when I match them up even, even on the end, it doesn't want to feed through. I don't know why. But if I stagger them, it goes through just fine. Now we're ready to start assembling. The stamp set I'm using is Snowflake Wishes. This is one that carried over from last year. It's in our annual catalog. And it comes with a set of dies. Um, so many snowflakes. Now, if you look, I stamped this one a little high, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add some rhinestones underneath, and then that's going to kind of balance it out and look, make it look like the entire thing was centered on there instead of just the words. I kind of did that on purpose. I mean, I didn't do it on purpose. I left it on purpose so I could show you guys how to fix things because I don't always do things perfect. I just find ways to fix it. Okay, so now I'm ready for the belly band, and I've shown you guys before, but in order to wrap the belly band around and have the designer series paper stay nice, what we're going to do is we're going to just adhere it on the one end, then we're going to do all of our scoring and folding and getting it ready to wrap around. Because when I do this, it kind of gives an extra little pull on the outside, on the designer series paper. And so I want to make sure that that's going to not be stretched too thin, if that makes sense. You know, I don't want it pulled too taut and to look funny or to start creasing on the edges. So I wrap it around and then adhere it on the back side. And so now it's adhered at both ends, but it's not strained on the bends. Now, if you wanted to, you could come back in, you could pop a couple glue dots in there, even the, the seal will fit back in there. But if you look, when I have it all straight, the top layer is a little bigger. But when I bend it around and stick it to itself, we're even. So rather than adhering it all the way across and then attaching it, just attach one end, do your bends, and then attach the other end. I'm going to make sure it's all squared up, and we'll adhere it here. And then I'm actually going to put this on the front because it will cover up that. I can even cut it a little shorter to be sure it's good and buried underneath my label. So when I adhere this on, the little seam is going to be in the front, and my back still looks all pretty. And then we're ready to slide it on. And there's our new fun fold card. What do you think? <clears throat> Is that something you're going to give a try? <clears throat> there's today's card. So again, thank you for joining me. And I will see you back here next Monday at 2.30.
Mountain Time for another Facebook Live. Thanks for joining me. Bye.